Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Notts are at home to Barnet. Now last week Notts surrendered their lead at the top of League 2 to Exeter after drawing 1-1 with Forest Green Rovers. But we've got a second successive home game to try and put that right against a Barnet side who have not won in their last 6 games and have only won once away from home all season. So let's hope we can get back to winning ways today and keep the pressure up on Exeter at the top of the table. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Right, it is sunny in October. Would you believe it? Yeah, the team news is out and we are gone back to very, very basics. Because Shola Ramiobi is up front with John Stead. Oh, lovely. Oh, beautiful. 90 minutes of hoof, hoof, hoof. Yes. But anyways, to do a change, Terry Oakridge is out and in comes the tapping assassin, Lewis Alessandra. So yeah, I wanted, I wanted Alessandra starting and he is. That's good. Come on, Nots. So it's just under 20 minutes still kick off and we found out that Shackle first isn't in the Barnet team he's just won the September player of the month so that's good news. I don't think John O'Kindy's playing either. I didn't hear his team, I didn't, I didn't hear his name uh, being going out in the team news so, and I don't know if I heard Dave Tarpey's name either so three of their most crucial players follow it out of the game today. sums up this game, honestly. <laughs> There's more action in a shopping centre. It's half time, it's not Swan Barn at Neil, and honestly, I've been more interested in the half time penalty shootout than the actual game itself because it's been that bad. Yeah, the only, the only goal coming, I, I don't even know when, what minute it was in. It's, it's been that road, but yeah, a corner came in, Amiobi headed over the goalkeeper and in. Not much else has gone on. Not really haven't created much since that goal. Barnet haven't been great either. It's, not, it, it's, it's proper League 2 standard. Back by, back by popularity Monday. <laughs> yeah, um, back by popular it's, man. it's been a strange half, hasn't it? It's, it's, been, it's been a pleasant afternoon down at the lane. Um, it's not been exciting. It's, it, we've not been on the edge of a seat. It's been pleasant. It's a lovely day. It's nice and warm. And we're winning 1 0. But it kind of seems like we're playing at 75%. Um, 75% is enough today, let's see what happens in the second half. Not being on the edge of the seat is an understatement. <laughs> Two minutes into the second half and we have just completed five successful passes on the ground. Record breaking stuff by knots. There's only point two players standing so far on Oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh, 
Dickinson, my hero. We just had a great chance to make it through. George Gunn's just missed the sitter, and that is so unlike him. Go on, Lewis. If we sit back in the mall, we'll be in the blind cross zone on the other side of the trend. I don't know where the fourth official's got it from, but we've got seven minutes of other time. I don't know where that's gone from. Oh, here it is. One. Oh my god! Oh. Johnny Ford, a great effort. Seven minutes and sitting back, soaking up pressure. Honestly, this has Aquinton all over again, written all over it. Sat back so much. Why do we do this? Not so make it easy, do we? Why? Why do we sit back so much? We get three points. We're top of the league. Come on. Mr. Open goal, Grant a ball in pass when blokes are queuing up to score. <laughs> goal disallowed for offside, and I don't know why. And then we, we're not, aren't we? So we invite trouble, we make an exciting finish. Phew, get to go and get a beer and get a breast back. Top of the league. Come on, Knox. Full time, 2 1. Really should not have been a goal conceded, but a decent second half performance. Some good build up play for the second goal. Back to the top of the league. Yeah, we just, we just look a lot more better when we get it down on the ground and actually play rather than just continuously hoofing it up. But yeah, decent second half performance. There was no need for to concede the goal, it was very avoidable. But yeah, a nice 2 1 win. We're back to the summit of League Two. You pies. Right, so we are back from Meadow Lane. Ignore the lighting, I know it's shocking. The light really isn't great in here. But yeah. We're back to the top of the league. We're back. We're back to the summit of League Two. A decent, a decent performance, I'd say. You know, not outstanding. Although, yeah, the first half, like I said earlier, was wasn't great. Second half, we picked up a bit. You know, we got it down a, a few times and tried to try to work it better. You know, for the second goal, it was good build-up play and a great cross by Tutor. I have to admit, fantastic by Tutor today and. Some other individuals I've got to pinpoint out. Sean Bracely, what a guy. I don't think I've seen him lose a header this season. He, honestly, he could he could header a brick if he wanted to. Ross Fitzsimmons came on for Adam Collin. I think he like he hurt his knee or something. Yeah, Fitzsimmons pulled out two very good saves. He looks well he looks assured, assured and just very calming goal. He looked decent keeper. Cole Dickinson, 
Wow, Carl Dickinson, what a performance. Until the last few minutes where we went, well, I don't know why we sat back the last few minutes. There was just no need. Yeah, until then, Carl Dickinson was fantastic, bombing down the wing, supporting, trying to support Graham. Yeah, Ryan Yates as well, and his interview after the game summed up what we won. You know, if you don't win, you don't enjoy yourself, do you? You know, he, he said, what have, we, what have you learned most? about league football and it's to win. Ryan Yates was quality in the midfield today, you know, um, he didn't play well as, as well against Forest Green but today he made up for it and a fantastic performance deserved Man of the Match award for the Forest Loney. Yeah, back to the top of the league, decent second half performance, lovely times at Meadow Lane, can we keep this up? I, I absolutely hope so. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Subscri stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, Toulouse.